Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a tutorial on how to make an Easter bunny pouch. The link for the pattern and the measurements are all listed in the description. You need to cut out four main bag fabric, four bunny ear fabrics and two strips. These are 6.5 inches by 2 inches. My embroidery is done by my embroidery machine. If you don't own an embroidery machine, I would recommend you sketch the bunny face on with pencil and you hand embroider the face on. Your first step is the bunny ears. So we place them right side up and right side down on top of each other. And we repeat this with the other one. And then what we're going to do is sew all the way around making sure we leave a gap at the bottom and repeat this with the other one. Once we've sewn this together, we need to make little snips around the top. This is so when we turn this inside out, it gives it a better shape. When snipping, make sure you do not cut the stitches. Now we need to turn each ear inside out. Once we have finished this, we're going to put them to the side and move on to the next step. Now we're going to get the main piece of fabric with the bunny face on and we're going to get the ears, place them right side down, repeat this with the other one and then we're going to do a basting stitch just to hold this in place at the top. Now we have done our basting stitch to hold the ears in place, we're going to place a main piece of fabric on top and then we're going to do a straight stitch going all the way along the top. Now we're going to sort out the strips. I fold the strip in half so I've got a centre point and then I will unfold the strip and then fold into the centre point both sides. If you press with an iron this will hold. And then we're going to fold in the sides on both ends and then we're going to do a straight stitch down. I'm going to repeat this with the other one. what the strips will look like when sewn across the top. Now we're going to sew one of the strips in place. The strip is for the ribbon to be inserted in so it makes the drawstring closure. We're going to turn this right side out and then we're going to place the strip straight at the top and then we're going to do a straight stitch along the bottom and along the top. We have sewn the first strip in place, we're going to place this to the side and then we're going to sew the next one. We're going to get the two other main pieces of fabric and do a straight stitch straight up the top. Then we're going to flip this over and then we're going to sew the other strip on top. 
and we're going to do a stitch straight at the top and straight at the bottom again. Now we're going to place a piece of fabric on top of the other piece of fabric, making sure it's right sides together and then we're going to sew all the way around. We don't sew across the top because this is the opening to the bag. Once we have sewn it together, it's time to turn the bag at the right side out. This is the last step. We're going to place the ribbon inside the strips. I have two pieces of ribbon. They are 20 inches long each. I use a safety pin to put at the top of the ribbon. This is easier to thread the ribbon through. We start at one end and then we thread this all the way through and then we go round the back. When we do the second piece of ribbon, we do it the opposite way. also need to tie each ends of the ribbon, this is so it secures it in place. Thank you for watching my YouTube tutorial, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more upcoming tutorials and that little alert bell which will notify you when I've uploaded a new video.